Mercury retrograde. It's challenging. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos. I'm starting to get custy with my old computer. It's about, I don't know, 13 years old. <laughs> Have you ever tried to edit on such an antiquated technology? Uh, okay, take 20. Rail against the wind all you want, but sometimes it's better just to let the wind pick you up and go with the flow. I probably should have more patience. Yep. Oh God, that would be such a Mercury retrograde thing. I think I might have actually just deleted the project I've been working on for the last, oh, I don't know, four weeks. <laughs> oh my God, seriously. Oh, Jude, will you ever learn? I don't know, that's a question I keep asking myself. I know I'll learn, but like when? <laughs> because I already learned it, and yet I keep repeating the same mistake. Hmm. Ah. I think I know what the problem was. Wondershare is constantly slowing down my computer, so it's not really just my computer. It's the actual software of Wondershare. Good to know. Yep, we're so close to Mercury retrograde and I have to remember to keep my computer sc screen, my monitor, clear. Empty the trash, make sure my computer is not over-processing because this is the time when you're dealing with old technology. If you have already overburdened it, it will crash. So now that I figured out what is the issue and I've cleaned stuff up, I've cleaned my monitor, which therefore then, because Wondershare does draw so much energy because it's an editing software system, I know that during the times of Mercury retrograde, pre-shadow, during the retrograde, and post-shadow, I have to keep my monitor screen clean. I have to keep my garbage can empty. I have to make sure that my computer is not over-processing. I don't need the expenses of my computer crashing and me not being able to create and generate money. And I don't have anything left in the palms of my hands at the end of the day, do you? I don't. I just don't. And I'm not able yet to pull rabbits from the hat. <laughs> and I can't just, you know, do that like the government can. <laughs> But I can't. So I gotta work within this and I gotta work with who I am, what I am, and where I am with what I have. So do all of you. <laughs> so keep only the projects that you're working on on your plate during a pre-shadow, a Mercury retrograde, and a post-shadow Mercury retrograde. Because that's how you keep your irritation levels low, though that's how you keep your stress levels low, or at least manageable. Because trust me, there's a whole other chaos. Remember, you're in the loop, right? Like everybody's like this in Mercury retrograde, whether they're aware of it or not. So the least amount of stuff you keep on your plate, it's going to give you a little more leeway to get caught up in the chaos of other people without you losing your shit, right? Because that's important to me. I don't want to lose my shit on people. That's between me and me. <laughs> I don't like dragging other people into my shit hole. I just don't. We all do it, I just don't. I prefer not to do any harm to others in the process of me waking up and harming myself because I'm fighting against me, right? Like it's like everywhere I look, if it's me and I'm just punching, that mere upper, boom, right? I kind of like to keep that contained so I don't completely lose my flippin' lid. So, you know, if you're ever wondering how to handle a Mercury retrograde without losing your shit, I guess this video is for you. 